Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Russell, and uh, it's probably hard to tell by my accent that I'm black. Um, <laughs> which is weird, because they called me Justin when I was in school. Uh, yeah. Thanks to be here. This is my actually uh, my first time to Vegas. My first time to drive out here on I-15. I pretty much have eight lives left at this point. <laughs> These people see a Louisiana license plate, they're like, huh, merge. <laughs> I don't know what the speed limit is on I-15. I'm doing 80. These people are flying by me like I'm sitting still. Las Vegas police pulled me. He said, you know why I stopped you? I said, you couldn't catch anybody else? <laughs> I like the police. A lot of comics talk about them. One of my favorite shows is Cops. That's the longest running reality show on television. They were filming it live last week in my hometown. I was watching it and all of a sudden my front door got kicked in. <laughs> All I saw was the back of my head on my TV. <laughs> I know that dude. What are you gonna do when they come for you? I'll run like hell. <laughs> not that I would have to. Have you seen some of those cops on that show? I'm not saying those boys are out of shape, but uh, if you're on a foot chase <laughs> and the cameraman passes you, <laughs> I might wanna jump up on a Nordic track, my friend. <laughs> Drop the donut and jog. <laughs> Roll the donut and chase it. <laughs> I don't work out. I'm 58. I feel like I'm in pretty good shape for 58 years old. I do, uh, I do one set up a day. <laughs> in the morning when I get up, that's half. <laughs> Tonight when I lay down, that's gonna be the other half. <laughs> Underneath my clothes is the body of an Arkansas state trooper. <laughs> Sorry, you ladies had to see that. <laughs> it's like looking at the eclipse without the glasses, isn't it? Not? <laughs> had a lady come up to me after my show one night. She said, the thing that you do with your stomach, is that a trick? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Took me 30 years and a lot of Budweiser to learn it. <laughs> like most of the guys on the show, I'm married. Uh, I'm married to go very uh, much younger than me. My kids pick her up at the bus stop and uh, <laughs> They help her with her homework. I love her to death. We have six kids together. We're a blended family. I have two stepdaughters. Uh, I don't like that term, stepdaughter. Uh, I prefer wedding presents. <laughs> two little girls, I love them. Their names are Excess and Baggage. <laughs> Excess is 13, Baggage is, uh, baggage is 19, and uh, she's never been married, and she just had her second baby. <laughs> Now I have excess baggage and some carry-ons. <laughs> because guess who they're living with? I have a brand new baby granddaughter. Her name is Unique. That's her name. <laughs> unique. I have her with me at the grocery store. People say, she's beautiful. What's her name? I say, it's Unique. They go, really? What is it? I'm like, it's Unique. They go, really? What is it? Damn it, it's unique. <laughs> That's her brother for real. <laughs> I have six kids. I have 10 grandchildren. I have 10 grandchildren, two of which my wife and I are raising because um, somebody else isn't. <laughs> we have Ethan and Marie. Ethan is six. Ethan's at this stupid question age. He'll ask you the dumbest things in the world. Like I was home not long ago and we were fishing and Ethan looked at me and he said, Popo, why don't those fish in the water, why don't those fish rust? <laughs> we're coming home on the highway. We have the windows down. You know when a car flies by you on a two lane highway, it goes Nyong. Ethan said, Popo, does our car make that same noise like that when it goes by their car? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> so I got home, I told my wife, I said, look, you get in my car. <laughs> I said, Ethan and me are gonna get in your car and we're gonna listen for what we hear when we pass you. <laughs> and all I heard when she went by was, you're an idiot. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> Apparently I drive a bus. <laughs> And Marie, that's my second to youngest. I love her. She's four. She'll be five next month, and she's gonna be a turn. She's gonna try to be a fine young lady, just for the simple fact she's five and she's uh, she's four, and she's asking me for designer clothes. Four years old. I was like, "What do you want for your birthday?" She said, "Popo, I want Oshkosh Bogosh." I was like, "Okay, do they sell that at KK Kmart?" 
Because we will be sure and get you some shoes at Pay Pay Palette. <laughs> Which is where I buy their shoes, because my wife and I have a 14-year-old son together, and uh, I came in off the road one time, and he's playing, it, uh, he's on the couch, and he's playing that game with all those buttons, you know, I don't know what it's called, but I'm like, don't you ever play outside? And he just got up, and he walked outside, and went and stood by the window, and was still playing the game. I'm like, that's not really what I meant. But he's sitting there, and I walk in, I don't get a, hi, Dad, where you been, Dad? Welcome home, Dad. First thing out of my son's mouth was, Dad, I want some Air Jordan. Now, do you know what this is? It's a tennis shoe. Now, I don't know this, right? I have no clue. I'm like, okay, why do you want that? He said, because they make you jump higher. <laughs> right? We load up in the car. We go to the mall. Go to the Foot Locker. Find the shoe. Find the size. Tries it on. Take it to the cash register. $179. <laughs> I jumped jump that high. <laughs> And we just got him his first smartphone. He's had a phone for a while, but uh, my wife thought he should get a smartphone. I didn't want to get him one. She said, you know, if we get him a smartphone, he might be able to teach us how to use our smartphones. I'm like, well, you got a point there. And he got it taken away the very first day back at school because he got caught texting his girlfriend. And apparently you're not allowed to use your phone at school. And uh, I had to go to school to pick it up and pick him off. And we're in the car driving home. He's looking at me. He said, didn't you, didn't you ever get your phone taken away while you were in school? <laughs> See, because everybody in here knows that if you wanted to come get my phone, you'd have had to come to my house. <laughs> come into my kitchen <laughs> and rip it off the wall. He said, what'd you do for cell service? <laughs> I said, we had that long curly cord that would reach into every room of the house. He said, how did you text your girlfriends? I'll tell you how we did it. We wrote it out on a piece of paper, then we folded it and we handed it to them, hoping we wouldn't get caught. And then we spent 10 minutes watching them trying to open it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Russ Nagel. That's for you, Jeremy. Good night.